Have at it. You said uh, tonight, or a few days ago, that this is a team that you thought potentially coming to beat you guys, and so are you surprised with how it ended? Uh, well, yeah, I am. They, you know, they missed shots. But we guarded them pretty good. But, you know, if you let the second-best three-point shooting team in the country get off 38 threes, chances are they're going to make 15 of them. And, and, you know, they only make eight. So that, that was a big difference. But, but uh, you know, they missed some good looks. But we actually guard them pretty good. And I, I thought offensively we were very efficient. How excited are you about the opportunity to grow as a team during break? Well, I've always thought we got better during break. You know, uh, it's a bad time for the players. I mean, think about it. You're in the gym or watching tape or nothing else to do. And, and uh, you know, it can become pretty monotonous. So I, I don't want it to be a, a, a drudgery for them, but I think it's a time that we have to get better. And, and, you know, over break will be the last chance we get a chance to really put in anything new where we can spend much time practicing on it. Because after the end, you're playing two games a week and you got to take a day off. And so you, you don't have an hour a day, you know, to work on stuff. So. It, it'll be important to us. We need to have a good week this next week. Uh, uh, we need to play good against Richmond and, and then in the break ride up in Columbus and, and hopefully have a little bit of momentum going into Christmas. You know, I think I think everybody in our locker rooms is a little embarrassed. Um, it's human nature. You know, we're, we're not we're not embarrassed to be a Belmont basketball program. We're embarrassed by by the performance tonight. But the Kansas had an awful lot to do with that, an awful lot to do with it. Uh, we're just disappointed. We're, we feel like our program's at the stage where very often we, uh, we give people like this all they want and, and occasionally sneak a win, and, and, and we want to get to the point where we're, we're winning a few more, and, and we just couldn't make this game competitive, and, and uh, I thought they played great. Uh, Came in and, I guess, had a high expectations, and you kind of... It takes a little bit maybe longer to get into the groove, and now here you are, you kind of waited your time, and you have a game like tonight. What's, what's this mean to you, and what's what's the process been like to get from where you started to now? Uh, it's just been, this is just one game, and I've been working in practice every day, going against these two guys, trying to progress as quick as I can. So it's always good to have a, a good scoring game, but this is it's still a long season, a lot more i got to improve on. So, you know, even though it feels good for the day, you know, we, we're looking at a, a bigger picture, so, you know, got to keep working. And how do you stop from getting frustrated maybe when you're not playing as well as you'd like to and able to pick out this type of game? Is just one game at a time, or how do you how do you keep that focus? Um, I try just not to not to be selfish. I'm not a selfish teammate. You know, I got two pro talents beside me who are playing in front of me right now, so I just, you know, do what I have to do every day to learn something, pick up something from them and the coach and try to progress. So, you know, I, I, you have to realize as a freshman sometimes that it's not your year to be the man. So I'm just trying to contribute to the whole team. <coughs> when you go through that sequence at the end of the half, it's kind of weird to shoot a free throw with nobody else on the court. I mean, yeah, it was kind of weird. I was just like, uh, uh, I felt like it was a lot of pressure on me, but, you know, I just took my time, uh, took a deep breath and just shot, my, uh, shot the free throw. How hard was it to calm down from the dunk <laughs> to be able to concentrate on that? Um, it was pretty kind of, um, I mean, it's pretty good, but um, I just want uh, to give thanks to um, Elijah for the pass. And, you know, I just went up and just dunked it real quick and got the foul. And it was very exciting. The crowd got into it. My teammates got into it. And so we just um, kept that energy and just uh, kept on with the second, um, moved on to the second half. Hey, Travis, this was a game a few days ago, Coach Up said that you guys were ready this, this team to come in and beat you. How were you guys able tonight to uh, crack them open early and then kind of maintain that lead? Uh, well, he's been telling us that all week, uh, that this is a team that is capable of beating us with uh, how, great, how good of shooters they have. So, I mean, we just tuned in. We really got after it after, in, in practice, and we knew, like, coming into this game, we wasn't going to let these guys get comfortable, and we are just going to try to rush them, speed up their offense. It made them uh, take guarded shots, and it, it worked out best for us. Are you surprised they took 38 threes? Not, not at all, because at, at halftime, Coach had the stats that they shot 17, and he, he came out and told us at halftime that they was going to shoot 35-plus threes, so we got to come out ready and be, stay tuned in on defense. 
James, what do you think of uh, Andrew's game? Oh, he's one of the best shooters on on our team, if not the best shooter. So uh, the game he had today, it was is great for him, great for our team. Uh, it gives our team confidence. Coach Self uh, enjoy watching him being able to be out there and do the things he can do. So hopefully we'll see a lot of it throughout the year. Andrew, did, did you have an idea that you were going to have more minutes tonight or did that come as a surprise? Uh, usually when I get in there, it's for a minute or two at a time. I know I just had to play as hard as I could. Uh, Elijah hit me early for a layup. Kind of, it's good to get a basket layup, something easy to kind of get you going. And we ran this uh, pick and pop offense with me pretty much playing a forward center position. And Trav just found me wide open on the wing for my first jump shot attempt. And it just kind of had me feeling good, you know, going going to the locker room two for two isn't bad, you know. And then throughout the game, I was just waiting for another opportunity to get in. I saw the game was kind of getting out of hand, so I figured I'd get, get a few more minutes. And I just came out with the same approach I always have and just so happened to knock down a few shots. Travis, you guys had 25 assists. It looked like for a while everybody was kind of not searching for their shot at all, but searching for an assist. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we're we not a selfish team. If, if you can just look around the guys that, that are out there, none of, our, none of our guys are just out there to hunt for shots. So uh, if I got the ball, I'm penetrating to look for Ben, or if Elijah got the ball, it, it, it goes it goes throughout our, our team like that. So if that don't surprise me that we have that many assists. Travis, are you having a lot of fun with all these dunks this year? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I'd rather watch Ben do a, a breakaway dunk than me get one, but I'm having a lot of fun. What's it like to out Mecklemore and Mecklemore? To do what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out Ben Ben on that reverse. Uh, I wouldn't say that, w that wasn't one of, my, one of my better dunks, and I don't think I got up as high as I, as I could. But like I said, I'd rather see him do a breakaway dunk than, than me, so any day. Appreciate it. <laughs>